Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. I'm a professional tarot, astrologer, and intuitive reader. We are hanging out, grounding ourselves for this pick a card reading, which is going to be breaking down the energy of this week. What is that you can expect? What messages that is that you need to hear? Now, at the time of me filming this, there is a massive, major, powerful Gemini lunar eclipse that's happening. Uh, well, did happen this morning, roughly around 2 a.m., 2 to 3 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. I pulled a chart for that, and if you have not watched that video, I will link it down below in the description box. But one of the things that stood out to me the most is the energy of Gemini, the energy of messages, the energy of information sharing, the energy of exploring, asking questions, being open to your mind, perceiving and understanding more than its current status quo. And with that, I wanted to hyper-focus even deeper into messages that your angels, your guides want you to hear and see at this time in your life. Now, of course, this video is timeless. However, if you're watching it at the time that it is that I'm uploading, because I upload every week, then this would be a perfect message to go in alignment with that lunar eclipse. So there are four piles that I'll be working with this week, four different crystals. I'm going to show them to you in just a second, and then I will meet you guys at your timestamps, which are also linked in the description box and pinned in the comments, and you'll be able to receive your intuitive messages, things that is I'm pulling for you, what you he need to hear the most right now, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right in. Right, my loves so if you chose the clear quartz crystal this is your message for this week ahead now the two cards that you have along with your message with your quartz is the lily and the garden now in the gilded lenorman these two cards represent um being public uh public recognition being with the community um networking being out being out and about exploring your options seeing what else is out there and with the lily it's about purity innocence sensuality sexuality and things that are preserved things that are considered pure the one thing that is coming through as i'm looking at these two cards right now for you is this connection to your ancestors that's what is really really standing out to me and it's so distinct from um angels it's so distinct from your spirit guides this is really ancestor ancestry related i am getting a really strong sense that this week or something that will stand out to you this week that can help you is learning from if you can learning from your ancestry learning what they have done prior to you being here what worked for them what didn't work for them and something about that is revolving around education it's revolving around information information that they might not have or that you may not have that they're willing to give into exchange and how important that is how much of a priority we have to make that there's something about your ancestors here reminding you and guiding you that to this knowledge to this awareness that whatever you whatever knowledge you secure for yourself no one can ever take that away from you and you want to prioritize that you want to see it for what it is which is very special very unique at the time at the same time that i'm saying that i'm also really getting a strong message towards unlearning so there are certain things that your ancestors at this moment in time are asking you to be open to unlearning this means that it may they can see how it will hinder you they can see how it has hindered them they can see how it is a blockage to your blessings to your health or towards something a gift that they want to give to you that is destined for you that is written for you but there might be something that you have learned a guard almost I'm almost getting like a guard like a, a gate a wall that you have up that you are not allowing this gift to come through 
it's a sense of um, vulnerability. It's a sense of being overly seen. It's a sense of privacy and protection, which they can understand and they can relate to. But at the same time, you have ancestors who their life is written um, or their life story is written in a way that because they were open, regardless of the hurdles, regardless of the challenges, regardless of the obstacles, that was the one thing that they could say for themselves is that they had true love or that they could defeat the obstacles, that they were able to create a business or they were, I just heard the word merchant, like they were a merchant type of energy or they were on a sh like ship, like the energy of ships kind of moving back and forth despite the travel, despite the distance, despite the obstacle, despite of whatever could have happened, there was something there that was secured for them that they want to also give to you, pass on to you. But in order for you to receive that gift, there are certain things that you must unlearn or certain things that you must learn in order for you to receive that. So that's the first message that's coming through. And right away, I'm definitely feeling um, chills. For some reason, I don't know if this group is thinking about higher education or perfecting their knowledge or perfecting their study, their craft, going to a higher university, going to school. It, um, it could be a trade school. It could be a higher learning university or platform. I don't see it as spiritual to be quite honest with you guys. Although it might be your spirituality that inspires you towards this. If you're not moving towards higher education, I'm, or travel in some way, it's very ninth house. Um, but without the spirituality connection to it, then I don't know if this is your pile to be quite honest with you. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue on because I am seeing how your service to others is going to connect with education, with what you are learning or what you are about to learn. And it's not, it's not so much through experiences, through life experiences. It's what, like, it almost reminds me of a trade. It reminds me of what you have to learn and master and like get a certificate in or get a stamp of approval or whatever that is in order for you to move on to the next stage, in order for you to be confirmed that this person is a professional, that this person is someone that you can trust. And it's not about, you know, some people are like, well, you know, education isn't everything. I understand that, but your ancestors are at, right now, what I'm getting is your service to others is connected to education. So just consider that, definitely consider that. I'm seeing enlightenment, I'm seeing knowledge. And through that, let's say it's not a, a service that you're doing for others, or like, for example, a job or a career that it is that you're working towards, I'm getting the sense of self-mastery, self-growth by going to those who teach you to master yourself, to teach you to learn different ways. And somehow there looks to be like, it doesn't have to be a certificate, but some type of graduation that comes from that. So the cards that I pulled for you, my loves, are Eight of Swords. So this is, again, this is connecting me back to that ancestry message. For some reason, the reflection in this water is very, is standing out to me the most. And it's this reminds me of what it was I was saying earlier with your ancestors saying that there's certain things that you wanna undo, you wanna unlearn. And I don't, for some reason, I'm seeing them not being directly with you. I'm seeing almost like you're a reflection of them. And I just am getting a sense that there's like a crowd of ancestors who are like, this person, you, reminds us of this one who lived generations like however long ago you guys are like splitting image of each other and that person I almost feel like that ancestor is called to the forefront and says listen you have to guide her or him during the stage within their life because they are about to make mistakes that you either mastered or that you didn't do a very good job with but you know now that you have passed now that you've moved on you know better you do better teach them so that's something that's really coming through with that Eight of Swords is unlearning. While I'm saying that, the next card that I have pulled for you guys is the Hermit card. The Hermit card is actually the card of unpacking. If you're enrolled in the Sacred Circle Tarot School, which is my online tarot community, I call this like the, the card of uh, un unpacking. The number nine is the energy of unpacking. It's not about completion. It's not the end of the cycle. It's unpacking what you have learned up until this point. And then we step into the energy of the hermit who sits with all of those pieces, all of those components ruled by Virgo and starts to car um, compartmentalize them. Where does this belong within my life? 
where does this add value? Where doesn't this add value? If I continue to carry this on with me as I move forward, this could be detrimental to my well being, to my health, to my service, to the world. So I'm seeing this space of sitting in um, an enlightened state searching, asking, calling, speaking to your guides, to your ancestors, to share their wisdom with you. Ten of Swords, yes. So there's certain things, again, as you're unpacking this cycle within your life. Actually, now that I think about it, you also had the Wheel of Fortune. So this reminds, this really is standing out to me. If you are getting this message, you chose this message, it's about, for you, you're ending a, a massive, a major cycle within your life. And that is amazing because you obviously have done a lot of things. Maybe that's what, why this higher education thing kept coming through. Because once you go through all these tests, these trials and tribulations, then you get this graduation. That's like you, you graduate, you move to the next cycle within your life. But if you are, you know, um, I don't want to say I don't want to say weak or there's something that you haven't mastered or there's something that is that you're struggling with. I just feel as though that's something that's coming through, like your ancestors. I'm seeing this mirroring image of this is what your ancestor, your one specific ancestor, has done that you are mirroring in this life now. And in order for you to move forward, in order for you to progress, to make progress now into this next stage, this next cycle, before you dive into that, we want to unpack. They want to guide you. They really, it's very hands-on. The energy that I'm getting getting and with ten of swords here this is just further confirmation that there is something that is that you look hangman they're not going to allow you to move forward <laughs> that's for your own blessing that's not a curse that's don't look at it as a challenge it's actually a gift they will actually hang you up just temporarily so that you can sit and settle with the lessons the information that they want to download into you um 12 i also teach this in the sacred circle tarot school and the links for that will be down below in the description box but 12 is actually breaks down into the number three and with that three is the number of manifestation it's the trine so as you are suspended as you are hanging there waiting for a sign waiting for a message waiting for a direction waiting for the doors to open up meanwhile your wheel of fortune card is reversed showing that the doors won't open up until you learn this lesson until you allow your ancestors in until you ask them for advice until you go to them for counsel that's when um they will give to you that's when they will give you the gift that this higher level of information this higher level of messages that's going to help you along the next stage and the next wave on your journey two of wands so they want you to really there's this message about exploring your options seeing what else is out there and i can't ignore the water that's pouring in so this connects me back to the energy of the trine it shows me that in your ancestors your guides are really wanting to share and to pour into your life abundance blessings information it doesn't have to be material abundance although sometimes spiritual abundance and sp mental abundance meaning information um the things that shift your perception can break down into physical blessings physical manifest uh tangible manifest like things that materialize but for right now i'm really seeing Especially, I don't know why I'm called to look back at this again with the lily and the garden card here. This is truly about, ex again, exploring your options, seeing what else is out there for you. And I feel as though it's put on reserve for you. It means that what is for you, I'm hearing this really strongly, what is for you will not pass you. But so don't get crippled up by the fact that you feel like you're not making progress or that things are not moving forward in the way that it is that you would want them to be. I don't know why, but I'm really called to shuffle from the flowers, flower therapy oracle, even though I do have more tarot cards for you guys. Also at the base of your reading, I'm just seeing this now, you have the ace of cups. So again, this is more blessings, more abundance coming in. Um, there's ace of cups is connected to children as well. I just feel as though I'm hearing the word postponed. Things are, I don't wanna say the death is postponed or the ending is postponed or the cycle has postponed. That means that you have to pause before you can move forward. You guys are so ready to, to end this cycle and stage within your life and start this next venture, this next journey, but your ancestors are coming through so strong and saying that yes, but, this person who is strongly connected to you has wisdom that they can share that will give you a heads up, that will give you a 
better vantage point, meaning that it will position you in a better place than you could ever be if you take the time to um, listen, to be receptive to what it is that they're trying to tell you and share with you right now. So look at this. We have take time for yourself. That is very hermit card. We also have sign from heaven. So this is those who have passed on already coming through to you now and then share the message of love. So there is a message that, is that they're trying to share with you. There is something that they want you to receive, but you can't do that if you're staying active and constantly moving around. Look, the lover's card is coming through, but it is reversed. So sometimes when this card comes through, it's about connection. It's about union, but for you right now, I'm feeling as though you are avoiding a choice, avoiding a choice. You might be afraid of your success or you might be speeding up something faster so that you don't have to, so that you can avoid a tough decision or something that is that you don't ultimately want to do. You're speeding through it so that you don't have to sit with it, so that you don't have to see it, so that you don't have to decide. Well, it just won't, your ancestors won't allow it, to be honest with you. Yeah, and as you know, back to what I was saying, but this is a faded moment within your life, a faded decision, a faded, a faded uh, uh, crossroads that you're at. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what else um, is coming through. I'm gonna start pulling from notes from the universe on love and connection. I feel as though, in addition to the two of wands, I feel like there's more beneath the surface that is that you need to see or something more beneath the surface. Uh, what does that mean? I feel like I'm not sure why, why my camera cut out just now, but something that's coming through is paying attention to the finer details, the smaller details. Um, closing out some things, especially as we're, I'm telling you guys about unpacking it feels as though there's some tiny details before you can break through this next stage, this next cycle, make sure that the smaller details, the things that are kind of annoyances or problematic or things that you've been avoiding doing, take care of those things. It may feel a little burdensome. It may feel annoying. It's the things that you keep procrastinating, the things you keep putting off, but over time they, you keep putting them off, putting them off, and they could turn into bigger things. Your ancestors are telling you right now to pay attention to those, to pay attention to that. And there's one ancestor in particular that is doing or has done what you have done or what you want to do. And they're telling you that, you know, it, you may not want to do this, you may not be excited to do this, but do it. It will make the journey forward way easier but also it will open the door for even bigger blessings to come come through and secure for you look at this you guys you're being watched by loving eyes and i feel this is very ancestor related see me in their eyes something about the eyes is coming through as well something about i mean how could i not say that when eyes is showing up twice and I, I don't know if this is an ancestor or you have something striking about your eyes. Like maybe you're born in a family that has all blue eyes and you came out with green or brown. Or maybe you have big eyes or something about the eyes or the eyelashes or you can see people's souls through their eyes. Something about the eyes is just definitely standing out. Number one, it's double here, but it's just really standing out to me. It's like the soulfulness. But also you're being watched, not in a creepy way, but by your ancestors. I truly feel that. Your treasure is at hand. So your ancestors right now are clearly saying, I don't know why I was just about to say they are decoding. They are trying to connect with you. They are trying to speak to you. They are trying to inspire you. But because you keep blasting and zooming past it, because you keep filling your time up with things that take you away from doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing, you know, it's just time to do it now. That's what's coming through. So I hope this message makes sense, my loves. Whatever it is that you are putting off and procrastinating on, or you're scared of it, or you're afraid of your own success, now's not the time to be afraid of it. You have a, a whole tribe behind you that's speaking to you and guiding you and, and wanting to give to you knowledge that's going to help you not only to grow, but to have some major blessings. They've mastered it. I mean, you have, you definitely, whatever it is that you're working on, is you have you're so lucky or you're so blessed because you have an ancestor that has done it already 
or someone in your family or someone around you who can guide you and help you in the way that would really give you a leg up past any competition, past any you know thing that could lock you up or hold you back. I hope this message makes sense. Make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I will see you in the next one. Let's move on to pile number two. All right, my loves. So if you chose my baby blue crystal, this is your message for this week ahead. The cards that you pulled along with the crystal are the crossroads, the fish, and the sunshine, the sun. Uh, right away, I'm getting the space of others, what others are doing, and you being like, uh-uh. Or you are being guided this week to not follow the crowd, to not follow what others are doing, to follow, to prioritize what makes you happy, what makes you stand out. Some of you may be a little shy about standing out, but it's about standing in your truth. Some of you guys feel as though you're being egocentric, that you, I don't know why I'm hearing too brave, meaning that you might be, you might feel too bold. What gives me the right to be different? What gives me the right to do differently? What gives me the right to receive this? It, you may be questioning a blessing that is coming into your life. You may be questioning a relationship or a gift because you might look at that person or look at the situation and be like, they're better than me or that's better than me. On the flip side, I'm getting the very opposite, which is very egocentric. It's very lion-hearted. It's very Leo and it's very courageous. It says, I want this. I deserve this. I'm going to go for it. And spirit is acknowledging that and supporting that. I don't feel as though you are being too confident or too cocky. I feel as though you know your worth, you know your value, and you're standing tall in that. You're moving from a space of love. I'm seeing a person who is very transparent. I see, I'm seeing a person who is very crystal clear. You are finding more ways to express yourself and I'm seeing you come out in color. I'm seeing someone, I don't know why, but I'm seeing someone that used to color or wear a lot of browns, like muted tones, black and whites. Now all of a sudden they're exploring orange, red, purple, blues, very vibrant. Or if you normally felt comfortable in those environments, uh, like very muted earth toned, this is when you start saying, well, I want gold, I want purple, I want ocean blue, I want yellow. So it's so interesting, it's very striking. I am feeling as though sometimes people, when they are st standing out, they might get some backlash, but I'm actually feeling like there's a lot of support around you with your friends or your family being like, it's about time, it's about time. We knew that she had it in her, we knew that he was gonna do it one day, we were just waiting for you. If it's not a lot of people, it's one person who feels like a lot of people because their opinion of you and their support of you means the world. I don't know why I'm getting this connection also to tropical, to paradise, to traveling. It's very um, Caribbean related. It's very, if it's not the Caribbean, it's somewhere where it's very lush. Like it's a very, um, like, I don't know why I'm hearing fortunate escape. So it's something that is known for its beauty, known for being an attractant, an attractant, meaning that it attracts people from all over the world to come to this place. So that's a lot that just came through already, you guys. I'm just gonna continue shuffling for you. I'm seeing that the more that you allow yourself to be colorful, to think outside of the box, to think outside of the lines, to color outside of the lines, the more that will be given to you, the more that you will gain, the more that is, is to be gained. Okay, so right away, let's talk about the Four of Cups. There are some energies within your life that you were just so bored with, you felt suppressed by it. That's actually the word that came through, you were suppressed. It, you're suppressed because it was comfort, it was comforting, it was comfortable, it was what you became, what was accustomed, what you were accustomed to. But over time, you, you break out of that, you break out of the cycle, you break out of the void. And you're no longer, even though it's home, even though it's comforting to you, you realize that you don't, you can't stay in that space forever. And that's what it is that I'm seeing for you guys. In conjunction with that, the next cards that are coming through for you are the Queen of Wands and the World card. 
So this is really about, I'm hearing breaking the mold and breaking through the ice, breaking the glass ceiling. Like something is being broken through and shattering and here you are emerging. And some people would expect it. I, I almost see people kind of being like blinded, like they're kind of covering their face, but they're still looking, they're still curious. So I feel as though you guys don't worry. I don't think that this is a pile that's really worrying about what other people are thinking. I feel as though you have an audience or you have a crowd of people or whatever it is that are waiting for you to come shining forward. You don't need to, they are not going to be intimidated. They're actually wait. They have so much to benefit from you. So all of these cards right now are supporting this blast out of energy. And here, here we go. Ace of cups and the page of wands. So something is giving you life. Something is giving you vitality. Something is being vibrant for you. Something is exciting for you and heartfelt and heart guided. And I just keep hearing now is the time for it. Now is the time right now. Um, I'm with the fish card and the sun card and the choice to the decision, the crossroads. I am hearing that once you pour out, once you put out, once you share, in a way that you're comfortable with, that feels good to you. Because you are ready. I'm really getting that message right now. You are ready. There is so much more to come from that. With the world card, I am getting such a strong sense of I am ready. It is time. My moment is here. I'm prime. It's prime time. That's what it is I'm hearing. It's prime time. And there's so many cheering and so much congratulations. There's so much kudos that are coming to you. I don't know what you guys have been working on. I don't know what you have been suppressing, but it is here ready now. Okay, balanced friendships. This is what I'm saying, you know, you guys, I just feel as though you do have a group around you, a community around you that is really gonna be cheering you on, that is really supporting you and excited for you. If you don't feel that way right now, it's gotta be, I, I just feel it so strongly for you. It's gotta be your ancestors, your guides, or your spirit guides or something, something's going on, but they are cheering you on and you're ready. Simplify your life. That's so interesting. You've had so much going on that you're spread too thin. This has to change now so you can, so your vitality can recharge. Interesting about that, simplify your life. So that could be a really specific message towards not doing so much, not taking on the burdens. Actually, as I'm thinking about that, the world card. The world card is all the lessons, all the journey that has brought you to right here right now and simplifying so that moving forward you know you're not taking on it's almost like you're getting a promotion or you're getting a level up so the the tasks and the responsibilities that you normally would take on that's for them to do and now you're doing this so be proud of that and people are watching you this is very leadership energy this is very like well what is she going to say how is she going to change things up what is she doing now let's wait for her laughter and communicate with your angels so this is this laughter card is connecting me right back to the sunshine card and the the joy the the message of joy and play and abundance and a lot of blessings coming through this is about enjoying the present moment being excited and feeling grateful that your time is now and that you're called to live your truth that you're called to sh shine your light what feels comfortable to you? What makes you feel good? What makes you feel vibrant? Invest in that. It's very dazzling up. It's very prepped and primed. It's very, I'm a star, I'm a celebrity. I should be looked at for good reasons because I have a message and I have insight and information that I wanna share. That's what I'm seeing here. So communicate with your angels to guide you even further in order to share whatever this is because you want to be, you want to see and be seen. That's what you're, where you're at right now, which is so awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you. I was looking for the lid for this. Oh, this is the lid. Okay, so from the notes from the universe on love and connection, what does the universe want to share with you? Wow, change is always good, just hopped out. This is about change it up, live it up, do it up, big it up. That's the vibe that is I'm getting from you guys. It's very vibrant, it's very lush. Start where you are. So how much how much encouragement is coming through for you guys right now? It's making me smile, it's making me feel like a celebrity. It's making me feel like, okay, oh my gosh. You glow, we beam. See what I'm saying? There's so many people and so much energy around you right now being like, yes, yes, you can do it. We've been waiting for you. We're, what is she gonna say? What are you gonna do? It's very YouTube, start a YouTube channel. It's very start a TikTok. It's very 
I'm not shy anymore. I'm not holding back. I'm going to invest. This is my life, my venture, my things, my doing. Very lush. Very, very lush. Very, very beautiful. Things are about to get really juicy. All right, so buckle up. And when you guys get there, wherever that is, tag me in it and let me know because, and remind me of this moment because it is about to be popping. <laughs> popping. All right, my loves, that's the message for those of you guys that chose Little Baby Blue. If you like this message or if it benefited you in some way, let me know down in the comments. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Moving on to group number three. All right, my loves, so if you chose the rose quartz crystal, this is your message for this week ahead. And interestingly enough, I could not do this week's pick a card reading without having a rose quartz crystal pile. That's not something that I'm norm normally gravitating towards, but this week I was like, rose quartz, rose quartz, rose quartz was coming through loud and clear and there's this connection to love and kindness and softness, compassion, self-love also, but I don't know why this feels very romantic love as well. It's very heart focused and some of it is in the head. So I'm definitely getting a sense with this rose quartz crystal intuitively that love can sometimes fog the mind up, not in a way that is detrimental, but it almost feels as though when you're falling in love with something or falling in love with someone or falling back in love with yourself, your own insecurities, your own doubt can resurface and give you a hard time. So that's something that's coming through right now. And I just want to say that if that is something that you have been feeling, spirit is coming through very loud and clear. For those of you guys that did pick this pile, that did pick pile number three, the rose quartz crystal, you are safe, you are loved, you have nothing to worry about, everything is going to work out exactly as it should, have calm, have peace, have love, and all is well. You don't have anything to worry about right now, and spirit is really trying to comfort you right now. Whatever it is that you are feeling, whatever is that is bothering you, it's about calming the energy down within you not about calming the external not about calming others not about finding out else finding out what others are doing or how they're feeling or what makes them happy or whatever it's about calming you within and being open and receptive to that being soft being kind being loving being compassionate not accusing not trying to find out and dig for more it's very like calm is what's coming through so Right away, if you look at any of the other cards that I pulled so far and messages that as I've shared, I've never, I did not share a message like that. But that's something that was coming through straightforward that I want to share with this pile in particular. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and go a little further with your message, even though that was probably a message for you all by itself. So along with the rose quartz crystal, you chose these three cards. You have the bouquet, you have the birds, and you also have... Ooh, okay, wow. Um, you have the clover. Something that just came through like a bolt of lightning is, is this gonna last? Is this forever? I don't want it to be taken away from me. And it goes from the heart, shoots right into the root chakra and the root chakra feels off balance. It feels like, ah! it feels very worrisome thinking. It feels very anxious thinking. It feels very tumultuous. It feels very um, lack. Don't take this from me, don't take this from me, don't take this from me. It's very like, Ugh! And spirit is saying, breathe, breathe. Because at the end of the day, love and things that is that you love can never be taken from you because you are a loving being. You are always loving. And if you're putting out love, you are love. You are receiving love. Love is around you. So anything that you could be chasing or anything that you feel like you lack, you already are. So just allow yourself to receive that. Allow yourself to be feel the warmth and the, the protection of the sun and how it provides for us. Let us feel the breeze comforting us and giving us freshness, fresh perspective, fresh energy, fresh vibrations. Let us sit in the earth and ground ourselves and know that we are safe, we are provided for, it is plentiful, it is abundant. Anything that we could ever want and ask for will be provided for us. We need to open our arms, arms up to receiving. It's a very empress energy, but empress that needs to be held. Empress that, and also emperor energy. I'm, I feel as though there is a surprising amount of 
masculine energy men who are going to choose this card who need to be comforted and held right now in their masculinity they're, they should be allowed to feel vulnerable. They should be allowed. And if it's not a man or a masculine energy that pulled this pile, it's a feminine energy that needs to comfort a man at this time or be there instead of attacking and asking and striving and chasing and being like, well, what's going on? What's bothering you? Why aren't you doing this for me? Blah, 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 blah. You don't realize that this person, this masculine energy has so many stress, so much burden that is on their plate that they can't articulate and they need a hug. They need comfort. They need a shoulder to cry on as well. They need kindness, comfort, caring, compassion, just as much as you do. And I know that some of you guys could be like, well, I'm not here to comfort a man. I'm not here to comfort them because I've got stuff on my plate, but you'd be surprised how feminine energy works. That the more that it is that it's receptive and nurturing and soft without being uh, abusive or violated by giving too much or expecting too much, you would be surprised how much feminine energy will receive just by her being soft, just by her falling back, just by her pulling her energy back into herself. You have nothing to worry about. Look, six six of pentacles was the first card that is standing out to me. Six of swords. There's so much energy right now that wants to move forward. Wow, guard is up. The guard is up. We have nine of swords, nine of wands. This pile is stressed to the max. Someone is stressed to the max. It's in their head. It's in their mind. It's in their energy. It's in their vibration. They want so badly to be able to trust in what they have done, what they have achieved, what they will achieve, where they're headed, where they're going, where this relationship is going, where our future is headed. They want so badly to believe in a bright future, but right now, they can't see it. Right now, they can't believe it. They, they just are doubting it. And the more that you allow your anxiety and your fears to grip you up, you are going to isolate yourself from that effortless, smooth transition into your future. And if you're dealing with someone who is anxious or doubtful for you, it's not your job to convince them of your worth. In fact, you will do more, gain more, go further by pulling your energy back within and being soft and kind and gentle with yourself first and not being, you know, constantly like open. You have to give to yourself. You have to be lush within yourself. Everything will come to you. So that's something that's coming through. This right here, Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords is troublesome to me because it shows me that there's this energy of overlooking, overthinking, and just putting too much pressure on. Where are you going? What do you want? What is up? Okay, my love, sorry about that. My mom came by to stop and drop off some soup for me, which I really appreciate. But back to what it was that I was saying for you is, um, yeah, I just am getting from this pile a lot of anxiousness, a lot of, a lot of agita, a lot of um, irritability, and, you know, I feel like you're looking for these patterns, especially with Eight of Wands here, Seven of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords. The words that's standing out to me are patterns. It's these things that you are waiting for to expect and whether it actually is a pattern, you're finding things, you're looking for things to find things to confirm your fear, to confirm why this isn't gonna work out, to confirm why you know you don't deserve whatever this thing is. And your your ancestors right now, your ancestors, your guide, and the message for this week right now is to prioritize your peace, your wellness, your blessing, your light. If you are um I don't say investing in that, but if you are harvesting that, if you are tending to that, then what prioritizes you and what feels good to you, there'll be more of that. It'll be plentiful. It will not be something that you have to worry about, that you have to fight for, that you have to question. And the other thing that I'm getting is that people sense resistance. People sense hesitation. They sense anxiety. And when they sense that, they too are 
anxious, they too are nervous, they too become scared because they wonder, well, if this person's nervous, then should I be nervous? So they put their, their guard up, they put their walls up. So the more that you allow yourself, look you guys, at the very base of the cards that, is that I pulled for you, the Oracle, chakra clearing, it's about clearing out your energy. These patterns, again, these cycles that you're expecting that you have, maybe you have experienced it or maybe you've heard of it or maybe you just don't believe that it exists, a good thing can happen for you. You're pulling up from the muck and you are emerging and blooming brand new and people will come far and wide to come find the lotus regardless of what the lotus has been through. That's what makes the lotus stand out. That's what makes it so unique. So your angels, your um, um, angel message and your flower therapy message which is coming through are, look at this, you have yellow. This is about solar, plex, solar plexus energy. It's about self-worth, self-value, and it's about not allowing your fears and your insecurities to call the shots or to block your blessings. We have financial healing. We also have share the message of love. That means that the more that you are sharing a positive message with yourself and with others, the more that you will gain, the more that you will receive. Um, unity, who and what are you aligning with? Who has your energy? What are you absorbing as well? The world energy card is also here. What energies are you absorbing? What are you allowing yourself to believe? What are you embedding and planting yourself within? If it's something that is toxic, then that is going to be the end result. That is gonna be the outcome. That's what you're gonna harvest is toxic, draining things that feel insufficient and don't feel like good for you. They don't feel good for you. Look, you guys. It's not only about being right. This means that stop stop looking for things to prove that this isn't going to work out. Stop trying to be right um, by proving where you know something can't work out, something can't happen, that they are lying, that they are cheating, that they are doing this, or that you are not enough. Stop trying to be right in that. For once in your life, be wrong in expecting the worst. You know, set your intention and set your energy for something higher and expect the best and be proven right. That's what it is I'm getting from this. Time to make a demonstration and you are destined for greatness on the wings of love. On the, on the wings of love. This means that if you move from a space of love, a higher space of love, you will be great. You will receive great. You will experience great. But not if you're staying in this lower vibrational energy of doubting and resistance and hesitancy and questioning and scouring you know what i mean like trying to dig in and tear it apart i hope that this message makes sense my loves these are the cards and the messages that i pulled for you um make sure that you are subscribed to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'm gonna move on to pile number four all right my loves so if you chose the fourth pile or the buckeye this is your message this is your reading and right away <laughs> something that i'm getting from this seed, the Buckeye, is the message of respect my authority. And for some, it's like spirit is kind of joking too when I say that because I'm hearing it in like South Park when he says respect my authority. Uh, that's just something that's coming through. But really what the message is is about being respected for who you are, being strong in who you are, and the reward that comes from knowing your worth, knowing your value not only expecting that of others, but giving it to yourself. And if there's a higher level, you know, I don't wanna make it sound like someone's better than the other person, but legit, there's, if you expect more for yourself or if you expect a certain something and you tell people clearly, respectfully, you know, this is, I just, no, not no offense, but I don't, engage in those activities because that's just not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in doing this. People say, okay, she has boundaries. Okay, she wants something different. And then they consider switching their game plan, switching their plan of action in order, in order to meet you where you're at. So that's something that's coming through is this strong, clear, distinct distinction this is who I am, this is what I want, and people rising up to meet you. That's what this group is about, and it really comes from a space of respect and adoration, like deep, deep respect. The three cards that came for you, for those of you guys that chose this deck, are the ring, the messenger, and the letter. So there's something that's coming through 
something that's coming forward, I feel that is choosing you and wants to commit to you and wants to build with you and wants to bond with you because it respects you. And you might be hearing messages of that this week. I feel a really strong uh, message of we are confirming, we are bonding, we are building, we are like it's a contractual agreement that says, yes, I normally probably wouldn't do this or I probably wouldn't co-sign to this or I was maybe going to do this, 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 but you're different and I want to build with you. I want to, I don't know why I heard rescue. It's not that you're being rescued. I don't know why rescue just came forward. It's like build, I don't know if it's like building a rescue or something or I don't know, could be, I don't know. That was a very specific message that, that just came through. Could be a rescue that you're working on or maybe you're rescuing an animal or something, I'm not really sure. Yeah, so here we go. The, the cards, the tarot cards that are jumping out for you right now, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and also Five of Swords. So this is telling me right away that confirmation, this is definitely confirmation on what I've already said, which is clearly stating and defining your boundaries, what you want, where you, want to go where you're headed what you want to be what you want to do and people respecting that so spirit if you haven't done that already you will get rewarded by speaking clearly distinct like just defining things that distinguish you from from the others this doesn't mean that you go out of your way to be different it just means that you know your boundaries you know what you want you know what you don't want so this is the week to not kind of compromise on that. And if you don't compromise, you people are willing to show up. This is the card that just jumped out. It like fell out heavy. The page of pentacles. They are willing to invest. They want to put in. They want to contribute. They want to be a part of whatever it is that you see for yourself. I'm also, I don't know why, but I'm also getting diet. I'm also hearing diet and lifestyle. So this could be that you are changing your diet, changing what you're eating, changing you know, what your routine looks like in order to become a healthier version of you. And even if someone, a partner, a friend, or whoever, even if they weren't even considering it because you're doing it, they want to do it. So there's certain things, there's a lifestyle that it is that you're leaving behind. If it's a relationship, you guys, it's the end of being single. If you're in a relationship right now, it's the end of one way of that relationship being looking like a certain way. But you do more harm by compromising this week. You do more harm by going with the flow of what others are doing. What I see for you is really stepping into your space and just being like, I'm going to, this is just what I'm doing. It is what it is. This is what's giving me life right now. This is what's getting me excited. This is where I'm at, this is where I'm headed. By really speaking your truth, uh, it's something about the truth is standing out to me as a message, something that you want to share, something that you need to hear. There might be some issues in your past that are coming through that might be difficult for you to share with another person or that it might be difficult for you to talk about is what is coming through. And confirming that is the Six of Cups, Two of Wands, the Hanged Man card, the Strength card, and the Ace of Pentacles. You would be surprised who can relate to your story, relate to your journey, and relate to your experiences, or relate to what it is that you're going through once you decide to share that message. But I'm getting a really strong sense from you that's like, I just don't feel safe sharing this right now, and I feel as though I can't share it, I have to hide it, or I have to deal with it on my own. I don't know why that's coming through, but that is definitely what's what I'm seeing. I, I keep looking down at the ring, the messenger, and the letter, um, the cards from the Gilded Lenormand. I don't know why that's coming through. I feel as though if that is something that you're dealing with, that you're thinking about, that's on your heart, that's heavy on your heart, I feel as though Spirit is guiding you to converse with them, your angels to converse with, for you to converse with your angels and give, get their insight and clarity into making it easier for yourself. Yeah, there's something that really wants to come to light for you, but you are really scared about sharing it. You're really scared about exposing it. You're really scared about it being revealed. What's gonna happen when that happens? Is it all gonna be taken away from you? We have Eight of Swords, the Hermit card, the Sun card here, and Spirit is really trying to make the journey easier for you or make that moment easier for you. 
Um, it just feels like very 12th house. So it feels like a, a secret. It feels like something hidden. It feels like maybe it's a psychological uh, breakthrough that is that you're having that you might be afraid to share with your partner or share with someone else that you are afraid it might shift the dynamic of the relationship. But you'd be surprised how people can resonate with that, relate to that, and will shift to meet you where, where, where it is that you're, where you stand. I wanna shuffle from the notes from the Universe on Love and Connection deck, which I really, you guys know I love this deck a lot, a lot. I feel as though there's three cards that need to come out here for you. Okay, wait, yes. So we have, wow, we have You've Got Time. This card is, for me right now, is giving you guys permission to take, not take your time, but to find the space to speak up when, when the time is right. I feel as though there is some truth, some boundary that you have cemented for yourself, but maybe, di maybe difficult for you to share and um, hold on with someone specific or in this one area of your life. But Spirit, at least this week, is encouraging you to consider sharing it boldly. Um, you don't have to be like, this is where I stand, this is what I want, this is what I'm doing. It, it could be very like, you know, it's hard for me to say this, but blah, 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 blah. Or this is something that I've been dealing with and I didn't, I didn't have the words, but I just wanted to let you know. And this is why I can't do this for you because this is something that I'm dealing with. This is something that I'm thinking about. This is something that has my attention right now. So I just feel very clear and I feel as though whatever it is that you are revealing, whatever it is that you're unleashing, whatever it is that you're sharing, it makes a difference with the other person and it builds a level of trust that allows them to trust in you or allows you to trust in yourself a little further and deeper and you are supported in that. Look, you were born with that it quality. That means that regardless of whatever it is that you feel like is hindering you or holding you back, it just doesn't take away from your value. In fact, it almost adds value to you. It almost makes you it almost makes you more treasure more treasured, more valued. If it feels as though, for some of you guys, this is a harsh truth, something that you may be embarrassed of or ashamed of or having a hard time dealing with. It almost makes someone, Five of Swords here, so it Five of Swords is usually like the card of conflict where hurting them hurts you. But I'm almost seeing it as a positive thing where someone can relate to you being hurt in this way. Someone has been there, done that, and they can relate to that. And because you have gone through that, they say, we have to link up together, especially with the ring, the letter, and the messenger. It says, because you've gone through that, it reminds me of the time when I went through this. Let's link up, let's build together. Um, and then also look, a confirmation even further, pucker up buttercup. <laughs> so this makes them say, you know, regardless, it doesn't take away from how I value you. It doesn't take away me wanting to work with you. Now let's do the flower oracle here and let's see what comes through. All right, family harmony. So this could be connection to the family. We have message sign from heaven. So those who may have already passed on. And then we also have become the true you. This means stop hiding it. Stop hiding it. Stop hiding this truth. All right, you guys. So I know that's a quick message, but that's what's coming through right now. Um, if it's not you having to accept something you know, bringing something to someone else to accept aspects within yourself. It's you finding, coming into grips with who you are and accepting aspects within yourself that you have been struggling with. So I'm sending you all my love. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.